Have you ever wondered who the first humans were and what life was like for them? A question that has intrigued many minds throughout the ages. Today, we delve into the dawn of humankind, exploring the origins of our species and the world they inhabited. Our story begins with Homo sapiens, a term that translates from Latin to wise man, a fitting name for the species that would eventually dominate the planet. These were the first humans, beings with a unique capacity for complex thought, creativity and innovation. As we cast our minds back, we find ourselves in a world vastly different from our own. Imagine vast landscapes untouched by modern industry, where Homo sapiens lived in harmony with nature, their survival hinging on their ability to adapt and innovate. Now, you might be wondering, how did Homo sapiens come to be? The answer lies in the theory of evolution, a process of gradual change over millions of years. According to this theory, life on Earth began as simple organisms, which over time evolved into a dazzling array of species, including our own. Through the lens of evolution, we can trace our lineage back to a common ancestor shared with our closest living relatives, the chimpanzees and bonobos. From this shared ancestor, our evolutionary paths diverged around five to seven million years ago, setting the stage for the emergence of Homo sapiens. The story of the first humans is one of resilience and ingenuity. They ventured into the unknown, faced the harshest of environments, and yet they survived, evolved, and thrived. They were the pioneers of their time, paving the way for the civilizations that would follow. Their legacy is etched into our very DNA, a testament to our shared history and the journey that led us to where we are today. As we delve deeper into the past, we gain insights into the foundation of our species and the world as we know it. So, are you ready to embark on this fascinating journey? Journey with me as we unravel the mysteries of the first humans. Picture a world untouched by modern civilization, a cradle of humankind. This was a time when the earliest humans were starting to shape their own destiny, a destiny that would eventually lead to us, their descendants. The first humans called the vast and diverse continent of Africa their home. This vast landmass teeming with life cradled our ancestors and nurtured their evolution. The African savanna, with its golden grasses swaying in the breeze, was their playground. The towering trees of the jungle provided shelter from the elements, while the rivers and lakes quenched their thirst and offered a bounty of food. But in this Eden, our ancestors were not alone. They shared this world with other creatures, some friendly, others not so much. Giant mammals roamed the plains, and predators lurked in the shadows. This was a time when survival was not guaranteed, but earned. The climate too posed its own challenges. Africa's climate ranged from the sweltering heat of the equatorial region to the biting cold of the highlands. Rain was unpredictable and droughts were common. Yet our ancestors adapted and thrived, their bodies evolving to withstand the harsh conditions. Life for the first humans was a constant battle against the elements, against predators, against disease. Every day was a struggle for survival, a test of their resilience. But it was this very struggle that shaped them, that forged them into the beings we are today. They learned to harness fire for warmth and protection, to fashion tools from stone and bone, to navigate their surroundings, to communicate with one another. They learned to cooperate, to form communities, to support each other. They learned to dream, to hope, to aspire for more. Life was far from easy, but the resilience of our ancestors shaped the course of human history. Their trials and tribulations, their victories and triumphs, their dreams and aspirations, they all played a part in the grand tapestry of human evolution. And it all began in the cradle of humankind, in the heart of Africa. Survival was a daily challenge for the first humans, but how did they manage? Imagine a world where every new dawn brought with it a fight for life. This was the reality of the first humans, a test of endurance and adaptability that shaped the course of our history. Our ancestors were not the strongest or the fastest creatures on the planet, yet they managed to survive and thrive in a world full of threats. They did this through a combination of hunting and gathering, the use of tools and the development of communication. Hunting and gathering was the first step. Our ancestors were omnivores, eating both plants and animals. They knew which plants were safe to eat, which ones had medicinal properties and where to find them. They also developed hunting strategies to take down prey, often larger and stronger than themselves. 
This was not just about strength, but also about strategy and teamwork. Then came the use of tools. The first humans were innovative and creative, crafting tools from stone, bone and wood. These were not just crude implements, but finely crafted objects that served specific purposes for hunting, for processing food, for building shelters. These tools were a game changer, making survival a little bit easier and a little bit more certain. But survival was not just about physical prowess and ingenuity. It was also about social connections and communication. The first humans lived in groups, sharing resources, knowledge and responsibilities. They developed ways of communicating, perhaps first through gestures and sounds, and later through more complex forms of language. This allowed them to coordinate their actions, to share information about food sources and dangers, and to form strong social bonds that provided an additional layer of protection. Every day was a battle, but every day was also an opportunity to learn, to adapt, and to innovate. Over time, these survival strategies became more sophisticated, leading to the development of agriculture, the construction of cities, and the emergence of civilizations. The will to survive led to ingenuity, creating a foundation for the societies we see today. The first humans may have lived in a harsh and unforgiving world, but they laid the groundwork for everything that we are and everything that we have achieved. The first humans were not the end point of evolution, but the beginning. Now let's delve into the captivating saga of Homo sapiens, the species to which all modern humans belong. The story of Homo sapiens starts in Africa, around 300,000 years ago. These early humans were not much different from us anatomically, but their way of life was vastly different. They were hunter-gatherers, constantly on the move, living in small, close-knit groups. The discovery of fire was a game-changer. It provided warmth, protection from predators, and most importantly, it revolutionized our diet. Cooking made food easier to digest, which meant our bodies could extract more energy from the same amount of food. This extra energy was used to fuel our ever-growing brains, and as our brains grew, so did our intellectual and cultural development. The Homo sapiens were not content with staying in one place. Around 70,000 years ago, they began migrating out of Africa. This was no small feat. They had to cross deserts, mountains, and even oceans, but they were driven by an insatiable curiosity, a thirst for exploration, and a knack for innovation. As they migrated, they encountered other human species like the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. These encounters were not always peaceful, but they were crucial for our evolution. We know from genetic evidence that interbreeding occurred, and that modern humans carry traces of these ancient human species in our DNA. The Homo sapiens were not just survivors, they were shapers of their environment. They transformed the landscapes they inhabited, learned to control fire, invented tools, developed language, and created complex social structures. Their journey was not linear, nor was it easy. They faced numerous challenges, from drastic climate changes to encounters with other human species, but they adapted, they innovated, and they persevered. And so, the Homo sapiens spread across the world, from the deserts of Africa to the icy tundra of Siberia, from the lush jungles of Southeast Asia to the vast plains of North America. They became the dominant species on Earth, not through brute force, but through their intelligence, creativity, and resilience. From the plains of Africa, the first humans ventured out, shaping the world as we know it. The story of the first humans is a testament to our resilience and ingenuity. As we journey back in time, let's reflect on the key points we've traversed in this narrative of the dawn of humankind. We began at the very cradle of humanity, where the first sparks of conscious thought ignited in the minds of our early ancestors. The vast plains of Africa, the birthplace of humankind, were our first home. Here, our ancestors survived, adapted, and began the slow but steady march towards what we now recognize as human. In the struggle for survival, we saw the emergence of a new breed of hominids, the Homo sapiens. These early humans, our direct ancestors, were not the strongest or the fastest, but they possessed something unique the ability to think, to innovate, and to cooperate. This was the turning point in our story, the moment when we began to stand apart from the rest of the animal kingdom. The evolution of Homo sapiens marked a new chapter in human history. With the power of their minds, they developed tools, harnessed fire, and began to communicate through language. 
They formed communities, built societies, and left their footprints across the globe. And through it all, they survived. They survived the harsh climates, the fierce predators, and the scarcity of resources. They survived, and they thrived, paving the way for the diverse and complex world of human cultures we see today. In this journey from the first humans to the world we inhabit today, we see a story of extraordinary resilience and ingenuity. It's a story that reminds us of our shared heritage, of our collective journey as a species, and of the remarkable capacities that we, as humans, possess. As we walk down the streets of our cities, let us remember, we are descendants of the first humans, who once roamed the wilds of an untouched world.